scholars may have finally deciphered the vast majority of an ancient writing system known as Linear Elamite. But not everyone agrees with the findings. A mysterious ancient writing system called Linear Elamite, used between about 2300 B.C. and 1800 B.C. in what is now southern Iran, might have finally been deciphered, although some experts are skeptical about the findings. What's more, it's unclear whether all the artifacts used to decipher the writings were legally acquired. Only about 40 known examples of linear Elamite survive today, making the script challenging to decode, but researchers say they've largely accomplished just that, they wrote in a paper published in July in the journal Zeitschrift für Assyriology und die Vorderasie des Archaeology, opens in new tab, German for the Journal of Assyriology and Near Eastern Archaeology. Key to their decipherment was the analysis of eight inscriptions on silver beakers. Other research teams had previously decoded different linear Elamite inscriptions, and the new study's authors built on this previous work by comparing the writing system in the eight linear Elamite inscriptions with cuneiform, an already deciphered script used in what is now the Middle East, texts that date to around the same time period and likely contain the names of the same rulers and their titles and use some of the same phrases to describe the rulers. The team determined what many other additional signs meant, the team wrote. However, about 3.7% of the linear Elamite signs remain undecipherable. There are more than 300 linear Elamite signs representing different sounds, such as a crescent-shaped sign that sounds like pa, the team wrote in the paper. The team translated one short text in the article which says, in translation Puser Susanak, king of Awan, in Susanak, a deity, loves him. The text adds that whoever rebels from Puser Susanak should be destroyed. The team wrote that more translations of complete texts will be published in the future. The corresponding author for the team, François Desset, an archaeologist at the University of Tehran and the French National Center for Scientific Research, CNRS, declined to comment about the team's work. Life Science also contacted several other sources who were not affiliated with the research to get their opinion on the paper. Most either declined comment or did not respond in time for publication. However, Jacob Dahl, an Assyriology professor at the University of Oxford, said he's not sure if the team has made a successful decipherment. Dahl works on another script called Proto-Elamite and disagreed with a statement the team made in the article that Proto-Elamite and Linear Elamite have a close relationship. Additionally, he is concerned that the team used inscriptions found at the Bronze Age archaeological site of Konar Sandal, near Jaroft, a city in Iran, in their analysis, these inscriptions have suspicious features, which may indicate forgery.